Now, you may well own a smartphone. What about a smart TV? Televisions which can connect to the internet are already available, but many in the electronics industry predict this will be the year when sales really take off. And with the UK's analogue signal due to be finally switched off, the smart TV industry's biggest players are gearing up for a battle for your living room. Our technology correspondent, Benjamin Cohen, reports. This is direct television from the studios at Alexander Palace. Back at the birth of television, you didn't have a lot of choice. One channel, the BBC, broadcasting for a few hours per day. So if you didn't like what was on, the only option you had was to turn your telly off. Fast forward more than 75 years later and everything has changed. Consumers face a bewildering array of choice. Nowadays, you don't just have to decide if you want a TV with a 3D display. You have to decide if you want a so-called smart TV, a television that connects directly to the internet to allow you to use services including the BBC iPlayer and to chat to your friends on Facebook. You've got a standard smart TV and then you've got full smart. Right. Full smart lets you uh, do open browsing on the internet. Right. Uh, the standard, the first sort of set of smart TVs that came out had let you give you access to certain media right. content. Could be so love films, for example, YouTube right. and certain... So things they're controlling. Yeah, that's right, yeah. yeah. So it's already complicated, but now Google and Apple are joining the party. Introducing the ultimate TV. Earlier this week at an industry trade fair, LG, Samsung and Sony unveiled televisions running the new Google TV system. The internet giant, which through Android is dominating the smartphone market, wants to do the same to television. Its key selling point is what it's best at, search. Being able to instantly find what you want to watch from the comfort of your couch. This year, Apple is understood to be launching a new TV product. At the moment, it has a plug-in box, which hasn't set the world on fire, but it's rumoured that Apple will start producing TV sets. And if the patents we've seen turn into real products, it could herald a revolution in television. All of your Apple purchase content in one place. You'll be able to control the TV through gestures, and they've even patented a Star Trek-esque holographic display. But what's it going to be called? After the iPod, the iPad and the iPhone, there is one obvious possibility. I've been told that Steve Jobs, the late founder of Apple, telephoned the company behind me, ITV. After they checked it wasn't a prank call, he offered to buy it. Well, the name ITV anyway. Unsurprisingly, ITV turned Apple down. But whatever Apple decides to call their new product, the question is, will it have as big an impact as their other iSuccessors? One former ITV executive says it will be broadcasters, not technology companies, in the driving seat. Britain's broadcasters has, have watched what's going on elsewhere in the world, and they've all got catch-up services, they've all got on-demand services. So the vast majority of what most people want to consume, even on-demand, is already available through, through a broadcaster's service. In other words, it's not been separated from them entirely. So the war is now on for the box and set. One company, Virgin Media, is already in the trenches. Its smart box TiVo is in a quarter of a million homes. How does it feel about the arrival of the heavy artillery from the States? I don't think we feel threatened by it. We have uh, not only the live TV, but we have catch-up TV, uh, thousands of hours of video on demand, HD and 3D. So we're already in the space, and uh, as Apple and others move into that space, I think it will enhance the market, not, not uh, see it as a huge threat for us. This is a critical year in the history of British television. By October, the analog TV signal, which has been with us since the 1930s, will be switched off. We'll all be going digital, and that will mean tough choices about which technology to buy. As television becomes smarter but more complicated, you might pine for the good old days when everything was decided for you. We're back with more Smart TV tomorrow at midday and 7. Until then, that's Channel 4 News. Have a very good evening.